A construction worker died over the weekend, days after an accident injured her on the job. Co-workers and family tonight morning. This is Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Ken Boddy, in for Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jenny Hansen, in for Elizabeth Den. Joelle Jones is digging deeper, learning more about the circumstances surrounding that woman's death. Joelle. That's right. It's a solemn sight. That construction site behind me empty all day as workers mourn the loss of one of their own. In recent public testimony, the woman killed described herself as a single mother who enjoyed her job and the opportunity to build a better world for her son and the community. Portland Fire and Rescue says paramedics and AMR rushed to the Benson Polytech High School remodeling site around 3 p.m. Thursday after an iron worker became trapped under a forklift. Fire officials say she was rushed to a nearby hospital after the accident, but suffered a medical event and later died. I think it's pretty unfortunate. Uh, the school has been here forever and uh, watching it, you know, get rebuilt and regrown, it, it's nice. But it's sad. Today, Anderson Construction, leading the project, stated in part, it is with profound sadness and heartbreak that we share the death of one of our valued team members at the Benson High School construction project. Samantha Sam Deshanes passed away on Saturday. The contracting company says work at the site is currently on pause as they focus on providing mental health support to their team and helping the Deshanes family during this loss. Authorities have not yet released specifics on the deadly injury, but Iron Workers Local Union 29, of which Deshanes was a three-year member, says the Occupational Safety and Health Administration is now investigating her death and what led up to the job site accident. I feel bad for their families, you know, they're out there doing a job and, you know, their life got, you know, was put at risk. Deshane's family declined to speak to us, but public testimony submitted last month offers a glimpse into the passion Samantha had for the job she died doing. Writing in support of the Interstate Bridge Replacement Project, to provide for my son as a single mother has given me so much hope for our future. Telling legislators there is no measure to how important safety is, and later expressing her dream to rebuild the bridge, stating to be able to look at it and tell my son, mom built that, would be a part of my legacy. And as DeShane's leaves behind her son, Anderson Construction says they plan to match donations made to her family. We have linked out a fundraiser to support those efforts at coin.com. Live in Northeast Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News.